Well, folks, coming at you with an emergency video. Hide your kids, hide your wives, uh, because things are lighting up those doobies right now. Sony Pony's going in, Xbox Andy's going in, and you probably remember that we did a video on this one, right? If, if you missed it, we did a video on this yesterday. I'm going somewhere with this one. Wait for it, okay? Because I got a bunch of stuff that I want to show you right now. The Twitter is just saucing it up right now. We got PlayStation 6 leaks, PS5 Pro leaks, the next-gen Xbox leaks. We're going to get into that. We got the homie PlayStation cast, or I should say Dreamcast guy saying that Xbox Game Pass is dead. And we did a video on this yesterday where Asmund Gold finds a man who's apparently blessed with five kids and he started crying on camera because of a rumor that says that obviously that Xbox games are gonna be coming on PlayStation. That happened, right? Uh, I, you cannot make this stuff up. And then you got YouTubers out here. Everybody's like going in right now. Everybody's like, okay, let me let me just let, let, let me just <laughs> make videos right now. You know what I'm saying? Is this the end of Xbox? Xbox YouTubers ditching Xbox over Microsoft putting exclusives on PS5. They love Sony now, so that happened, right? We had a man that started crying. We had Xbox fanboys, Xbox Andy's just went in coma after that story. The Sony ponies are wilding out right now, okay? I have to admit, the Sony ponies are going in, but something tells me that next week, the Xbox Andy's are, are, are gonna go crazy at the Sony ponies, okay? Because check this this has more plot twists than Johnny Sin's movie. Starfield going to PlayStation 5 is false, it is claimed. Yay! I mean, I did not see this coming, man. I gotta show you a video right now, but holy crap, guys, I did not see this coming. Next week, if this, I mean, damn, right? If this turns out to be true, this week Sony ponies were going hard at the Xbox, the Xbox Andes, the fanboys. Next week, I mean, damn, bro, like the Xbox fanboy is gonna murder Sony ponies after this one, bro. <laughs> We got PlayStation 6 leaks, which I will get into, but check this out. Microsoft is currently completely freaking out because it appears as if... Like and share, guys. Like and share. Somebody has managed to leak the future plans of Xbox, and it sounds like Game Pass is about to die. At least the current form of Xbox Game Pass is getting a rebrand, and probably stuff is going to change for sure. But oh, let's take a look at the sure, leaks and sure, talk sure. about the impact that this lack of Xbox focus yeah. is going to have on the industry. Okay. Hi, okay. I'm Dreamcast That's Guy. guy if, you if you could give this like video a like video, and subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. So like and subscribe. Guys. Like here is subscribe. what has the internet completely going ballistic right now. Now, I did manage to find a bunch of tweets before they got deleted. This was accidentally posted by GameStop. Come to our stores for Xbox Demo Day, which is coming up here on Monday. Yeah. And it says you can check Damn. out the newest Xbox games and explore the benefits of Microsoft Game Pass. <laughs> now, anybody who knows anything knows that, of course, the name of it is Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. Even when you're playing it. Uh right, this is absolutely wild to the point where right now, stickers are saying that uh, Xbox is getting rid of the marketing line. And yeah, it sounds believable because it's coming from GameStop. I believe like EA Play is also kind of mentioning Microsoft Game Pass and then do not mention ga uh, Xbox Game Pass. What is going on? What is happening? But I do feel like that if these rumors turned out to turn out to be fake next week, don't Dog, bro, like the Xbox and he's gonna murder Sony ponies though. On PC or playing it on your phone, it's still week, called bro. Xbox Game Pass for PC or for cloud. This is the first time we're seeing Microsoft Game Pass. So these three words have people completely freaking out because yeah. it definitely conveys the end of the yeah. current Xbox brand. The fact that Damn. it's very obvious that they want to change it from, you know, Xbox games to maybe Xbox Game Studios instead of Xbox Game Pass, Microsoft Game Pass. Mm. Now, this tweet got deleted because oh, everybody no. clearly <laughs> was not supposed to talk about Microsoft Game Pass. And people are... Dog, this is insane. Like, these are first world problems, though. Like, I, I understand, like, talking about gaming news, that's exactly what I'm doing here. And saucing it up, meme up. I, I love the memes, not, not gonna lie. But if it turns out, like, this rumor is false, bro, like, we got Mr. Maddie Play, right? Like, one of the biggest uh, Xbox uh, YouTuber out there. Uh, and uh, he's kind of decent, right? I wouldn't call him a fanboy. He's a fan, and being a fan is perfectly odd. We got the Sony Pony Dreamcast guy. Uh, sometimes he get, gets in the Sony Pony territory. Uh, uh, but other times you keep it real, right? Like for for example here, yeah, like this is news. But but now we're hearing that like Starfield going to a PlayStation 5 is false. It is claimed. But this is just one source because another source, like check this out. Uh, right, I gotta get into this one. Both the Xbox era and sneaker show are doubling down on their sources, saying that Starfield is being considered for PS5. Nate the hater was never the original source for Starfield info. The, the Red Dragon, obviously Sony Pony. 
account, like a PlayStation fanboy account, right? <laughs> and I play on PlayStation, okay, wow, wow. I do play on PlayStation, but let's be real. My guys out here like telling like Sony ponies, bro, it's fine, bro, it's fine, man, we're still getting Starfield right now. It's perfectly fine, man, like go crazy on the Xbox Andes and we are the Xbox Andes. I mean, damn, like grown men crying out here over these rumors. And I mean, damn, guys, like, listen, man. It's gonna be alright, whether Xbox games come out on PlayStation, whether they don't or they do, it's gonna be alright, man. It's just video games, bruh. It's just video games. Listen, man, all I'm saying here is that, dude, Phil Spencer lies and cries. Jim Ryan, Jim Ryan also lies and cries. These corporations don't give a damn about us, okay? They don't give a damn about you, they don't give a damn about me. As a brown man, the only thing I'm asking, okay? As a brown man, I'm just demanding for free online games instead of all of this bull squash, right? Like, give us free online and give us like maybe three, four, five, maybe perhaps like uh, 20 games for Bruh. free, right? Like the video if you agree with that. Like the video if you agree. Understandably, kind of. I, I think people are upset. Now, I do want to briefly talk about the fact that some. I mean, seconds are crying right now. What do you mean upset, bro? The Xbox fanboys are going completely insane. People talking about how they haven't slept. Yeah, we, we actually talked about this in the last video, man. Definitely check out the Asmund Gold video we did yesterday, guys. In days, I've seen pictures and videos of people smashing their Xboxes or claiming they're going to leave the internet. I think some of this stuff is obviously way too far, but I understand the frustration. Way too far? You think it's way too far? It is too far, bro. It is really. It is really too far, dog. Like who, bro? Like who cries? I mean, imagine having like five kids. You got a head full of hair. You got a chin full of white beard. No disrespect, though. I also got some white uh, hair in my hair, uh, in my head, Bruh. and in some of my beard. And I'm 27. I got a little bit, like one or two here and there. Like, listen. I mean, damn. What are we talking about here? Like, this ain't that deep, dog. Is it that deep, guys? Is it that deep? Is it that deep? Is it really that deep? Like, think about it. Like, ask yourself this question. If you're if you're an Xbox fan, ask yourself this question. Is it really that deep? And Sony ponies, don't laugh, bro. Don't laugh. Maybe next next week. I mean, that's when we're gonna know about the truth, right? Because uh, if this rumor is false and you were like jumping around, dog, the Xbox and is gonna murder your ass, bro. Like, stop because, jumping. Bro. I mean, think about it. When you buy a console, whether it is the Xbox or the PlayStation or the Nintendo Switch, you're betting on the future. You're basically saying, oh, this is gonna be the spot where I game for the next four five or ten years you know and so you're kind of hoping okay is halo going to be great is hellblade going to be awesome or on the other uh, side no the fence is zelda going to be good or god of War ragnarok thankfully turned out to be good i Thank understand to be thankfully guys <laughs> because if good, you spend $500 on your system and it turns out that they just give up on it, if it just gets cooked, that's understandably going to piss you off. But I think it's interesting looking at a lot of the takes from the most diehard no. professional Xbox YouTubers. No. This is Destin Legary, who's a host of one of the biggest Xbox podcasts and does a lot of video content on YouTube talking about the nature of Xbox and Microsoft. He did a lot of coverage of the FTC investigations and stuff. And he basically said, I think they're going to call it Xbox Everywhere. This is going to be the new slogan i don't think the consoles are going to die i mean he's looked at the ftc leaks clearly and, and speaking of the consoles real quick emergency meaning immediately okay because guys right now there are a lot of rumors and i mean a lot of rumors going <laughs> a lot of rumors going around okay the playstation 6 will be the most powerful console next gen it is clean <laughs> Sony is tripling down on ray tracing and path tracing to ensure PlayStation 6 is the most powerful console. 1.8 thousand likes, yeah, die. Can a brother get two likes? That's all I'm asking. And right now there are also rumors going around about the fact that we're gonna be getting PS5 Pro by the end of this year. So 2024 by the end of uh, end of this year, right? Uh, technically it can come out like next year too. I'm also hearing that NDAs are being sent to devs. The, uh, the devs, especially the ones that are getting the PS5 Pro dev kits. That's happening. 2024 by the end of this year, we're getting PlayStation 5 Pro. 2028, that's when we're getting PlayStation 6, according to these rumors, these reports. And the next gen Xbox is coming out in 2026. That's kind of wild, right? And we're not sure whether the next-gen Xbox is gonna be like digital only <laughs> or like a true console. We really have no idea on that one because based on the like the FTC leaks, there were like in for there was some mentions of like cloud-only services from Microsoft though. Oh shit! I, I hope it's not cloud-only, but we're here in 2026 for the next-gen Xbox. They have aspirations to make more streaming systems and maybe another Xbox yeah, in the yeah. distant future. Streaming but only. This is the end of the console war. There's only 
probably going to be PlayStation. Nintendo has their own separate audience. They have definitely a very diehard, very profitable audience, but the idea of Xbox versus PlayStation has come to an end. Now, some people are very mad at about the Xbox people that are understanding of this. Come on, this man. You need some Xbox loyalty. I keep seeing this term specifically, Xbox loyalty, that even though it turns out that Phil Spencer lied, a lot of Phil Spencer's talks over the course of this last six years, he's been talking a lot about the idea of making it the best place to play. Xbox will have the best exclusives, the coolest games. Now it turns out they're going to have no exclusives, and even if they are getting good games, you can play them pretty much anywhere. People seem to be a bit upset about this, and the typical response I've seen is this. Just play games anywhere you can. I'd play Skyrim on a fridge if I could. I keep looking at a lot of these Destin tweets because not only is he a professional commentator on this, but he is a guy who's probably put in hundreds of thousands of hours on the Xbox personally, so his take, watching him pretty much abandon the Xbox, to me, it's a fascinating move that Xbox pivots, and a lot of fans are basically going, well, we have to keep up. If that's where the Xbox games are going, that's where we're going to go. I feel like Xbox has been headed this way for a long time. A year or so ago, we talked about Game Pass on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5. Full-priced releases on other platforms is good for customers and Xbox. You know, this is comedy, bro. This is really comedy. I mean, did we really, guys? <laughs> Listen, man, being a fan is fine. Having a preference is perfectly fine. Like, whether you love a Sony Pony console or Xbox console, right? I get it, though. Dog, like, it's just plastics, bro. It is all right. There are people out there, and I hate to make this comparison, but it's facts, though. There are, there are people out there on this planet of ours, okay, that you and I share and billions of people share collectively, right? There are people out there that are having trouble finding, like, drinking water, dog. And, and like... We fighting over this dumb stuff though. Like holy crap, like what we doing here? <laughs> what are we really doing here, dog? Now, now memes are fine. I love the salt and I'm not gonna lie to you, I love some drama too though. I love Bruh. I love me some drama, I love me a lot of that crap. But but dog, like I it was this a grown man crying because of a rumor that Xbox game is gonna come out on PlayStation that was not on my bingo card, guys. <laughs> this was not on my bingo card this year. This is bottom line. Xbox everywhere doesn't seem that bad to me. Yeah. Now, this is the part of it that I feel like some people are kind of overlooking, which is the yeah. fact that Xbox is not as profitable as a lot of us kind of think about. You know, like, even though the obviously Microsoft is huge, Microsoft has literally trillions of dollars, but Microsoft, when it comes to Xbox, is an itty bitty piece of the pie. When we actually look at sales and profitability of different consoles, it's clear that not only is Sony way in the lead of just dollars earned, but yeah. what's interesting to me is the fact that Microsoft has never really- Damn, like he's- <laughs> He is not lying by the way he's saying he's saucing it out though. He's saw I love it. Look at look at my boy face. Like, you know? <laughs> Bomba card! Man, I love the sauce, man. I'm not gonna deny it. I love this uh, this thing out here, okay? I love the sauce, but damn. I mean, facts are facts, right? Because Microsoft is a trillion dollar company. They're the biggest company out there on the planet, right? And the thing is that if you're an Xbox Andy or you're a normal Xbox fan, perfectly fine, by the way. Uh, if you are if you play on Xbox, I, I guess it's, uh, uh, it's important to know that Microsoft, seriously, they're so big that they don't necessarily care about Xbox the way... Uh, for example, Sony cares about PlayStation because PlayStation is like one of their biggest source of income and, and, and uh, if they mess PlayStation up, then Sony's gonna take a massive hit, right? You know, but if they mess stuff up with Xbox, they, they're okay. I mean, Microsoft is okay, Xbox might not be, but, but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, Microsoft is all about services, software, cloud, streaming, Windows, and God knows what else they got. Like, they got AI, they probably have aliens working on their technology, let's be real at this point, right? So, yeah, that part is true, but... But, uh, but but Microsoft, seriously, they don't care about games the way PlayStation or Sony does. Sony, after all, it, and it's also quite true because Xbox and Andy's always bring it up. And I mean, facts are facts. Sony is a movie company. <laughs> they make movies, man. They make movies. It's a movie company. This is why, like, uh, most of the time, the first uh, party titles from X uh, PlayStation, like God of War. And I love God of War, man. No hate to God of War. Or, uh, and also no hate to people that love, for example, like Halo, whatever. Halo. 
not my cup of tea. Just like how God of War might not be your cup of tea, okay? Just let, let's be real. It's gaming at the end of the day, guys. We all have different tastes here, okay? But uh, facts are facts, though, you know? You're sitting and you're just pressing, like, a couple of buttons. Yeah, there's obviously, like, that. Like, there's action and you have to solve puzzles and you have open world to explore. Yeah, it's gameplay heavy, too. But the way the Xbox and they see it is that it's like a movie game. And to a certain degree, I mean, or I mean... Uh, officially Sony is a movie company and they make uh, movie games there's nothing wrong with that I mean after all like shy is like a uh, shite mate uh, the the games are brilliant the stories are brilliant this is why the PlayStation games sell way too much okay in comparison to the Xbox games this is why PlayStation is dominating because suckers love games but suckers also want like good experiences right like suckers also want like good stories if the story is good dog like it doesn't matter how many times you play, whether you want to play the game once or twice, it doesn't matter. If the story is good, it's going to be memorable, it's going to stick with you. This is why God of War is a juggernaut. This is why Spider-Man, I mean, despite that woke bullcrap that we had in uh, Spider-Man 2, minus that, Spider-Man 2 was amazing, right? You know you know what I mean? With Halo and other Xbox games, dog, like, there's none of that crap right now. There's nothing really going on. The only masterpieces, in my opinion, for Microsoft and Xbox are Flight Simulator. Love that game. I have that on PC. See, I have that on PC, not on Xbox, and I don't have Xbox, so because there's no need to buy. Uh, and Forza, Forza is a masterpiece, and I'm sure there's probably one or two more that I'm missing right now. You, you can definitely let me know in the comments below. But there aren't too many Xbox games that you can call like massive uh, uh, juggernauts or uh, or masterpieces. They've been is making that wild. much in general off the Xbox, even during their most profitable periods of the Xbox 360 and stuff. It's obvious that the idea of Xbox has always been just to boost the value of Microsoft. Their the shareholders pass, yeah. just care about having a physical box yep. in your house. It makes their company more valuable, the fact that they have something they can sell at Best Buy. But what's interesting to me is that this pivot of Microsoft Game Pass I think this is being done by the shareholders. I, I don't think yeah, that Phil Spencer maybe. wants to do this. The game developers, uh, I mean, a lot of these people... And, and I'm seeing, like, a lot of people actually go really, really crazy at the homie Phil Spencer that you lied, Phil. I mean, welcome to the world, right? Welcome to the world, bro. Sega's don't, don't care. I mean, he's a CEO after all. And I'll say this. I really, I truly not looking to defend Phil here or and also not looking to defend Jim. I truly don't know. And you also truly don't know what is in their heart. Part of me feels like the Phil really was not lying. Uh, uh, I really believe that. I could be wrong, obviously. I truly don't know what is uh, in his heart. I truly believe that Phil wasn't looking to lie to Xbox fans or anything like that. It just happens to be that Xbox is not selling too crazy right now. So therefore, Phil got to like change his strategy. I, I think the orders came from the top and Phil is like, okay, well, uh, yeah, man, do you adapt or do you die, right? Like adapt or die. I think it's one of those things. I don't think like Phil is looking to disappoint Xbox fans. It's just that they, they just don't know how to manage their studios and the studios are turning out crap content and fans are being disappointed left and right and then you hear news that you know starfield was gonna be xbox exclusive and then you started hearing these rumors and phil does not these rumors are going on for months though in the last week it's coming from like ma big insiders and today we're having another rumor that apparently it's not it's been a roller coaster we got sick is crying like uh, like dad of five kids crying like this is getting deep out here like holy crap if next week depending on the news bro the xbox andy's are gonna murder sony ponies dog or the xbox andy's gonna uh, metaphorically speaking gonna murder phil spencer dog like this is really getting out of hands <laughs> nobody knows what what is happening right now though well it sounds like aren't really super on board with it Apparently, according to a lot of the leaks and stuff, there has been an internal struggle between people that are at Xbox and want to be Xbox exclusive, whereas there's the studios that were bought by Xbox and now are being forced to be Xbox exclusive. There have been some yeah. talks that certain people at Bethesda were not exactly pleased when they were told that their games we're going to be played by less people. That even if they end up making oh, yeah. the biggest, yeah, yeah, yeah. craziest- I, I thought that, I thought that he was gonna say, I was assuming, okay, my bad. I was assuming that he was gonna say, certain people and Bethesda didn't want the games coming out on PlayStation. <laughs> I assume version of Elder Scrolls 6 saying, hey, it's only going to exist on the worst selling console. And to PC gamers, a, a lot of people just obviously weren't super pleased by that. A lot of experts though, are kind of chiming in on this and saying, hey, this will make more money. This will generate yeah, a ton of cash. 
But if, if this really happens, oh, 100%, Microsoft, we, we were talking about this, right, when this rumor came out originally, that, yeah, if this really happens, dog, Microsoft is going to make a lot of money. It's going to be a good move for all the gamers, the true gamers, right, not talking about, like, Sony Ponies or the Xbox Andes, the Xbox out there. Yeah, gonna be a little bit of depression for a little bit, but 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 if this happens, it's, Microsoft's gonna make a lot of money. But ultimately, I got to agree with the with the Xbox players that it's and, and even the normal PlayStation players and the gamers, right? Like everybody. Like let's be real. I mean, damn, I, I got to agree with the fact that if this really happens, where Xbox games are coming out on PlayStation, the reason to buy Xbox would cease to exist. You don't even need to buy Xbox already as is. But now after this, bro, like you wouldn't even have a single reason to buy but guys this recently just went down a massive cheater was caught with corona zen and the that we had like new cheats that are coming out as well it's absolutely wild guys check this out and i'll see you right there